other things that uh, you can do with Torch, um, I will show you in uh, in this example. So um, once you have loaded the image Lena, um, you can, uh, as we showed, um, you can display image Lena by just drawing image display dot i, and you will get um, Lena again. Um, if you wanna get uh, some kind of a size, you can say uh, return image dot size, um, and that will return basically number of planes and the size of of image. Um, you can also shortcut this uh, for um, equal and um, this sign, and then uh, the number, and you will get the same kind of information as well. So that's kind of a shortcut that is nice to have. Um, we can uh, generate the filter uh, by uh, using the image La Laplacian filter. For example, we want a size of 10. We generated a Laplacian filter. Um, and we can also look at this filter by uh, just looking at hemp. Um, it will be really tiny, so I need to vary this. Increased by increase of size. Uh, that's a 10 by 10 kernel, so it's really tiny. Um, then what I can do is I can uh, I can basically convolve, which is the main operation that we use in convolutional neural network, and convolve the image M with the uh, filter uh, size, and I can get the output, and then, then I can display uh, the, that output uh, and since that is a Laplacian filter, so it's sort of like a hedge enhancement filter, that's what you're going to get as well. Um, image is a lot of very nice features, so I, here I'm going to show you basically all the nice features about uh, Lua uh, and Torch in particular that sort of remind of MATLAB and are very easy to, to manipulate the convolutional neural network and neural network as we see. Um, we can also um, scale scale an image, so I can call i2 is image dot scale um, the the original image um, Lena, and then I can decide what size I wanted to. So if I wanted 200 by 200 pixel, then I can do that, um, and I can display uh, that image. And so here is the little image that we had. I want to display the original, I display the original, uh, I want to display all of them, there you are. No, so the original and the smaller version, these are all the neural network ones. I can close them all, okay. Um, I can also, uh, instead of image scale, I can do image rotate. I2 now will be, instead of I2, let's call it I3. Uh, so it's image rotate, um, I, and then we have to basically give him uh, the angle of rotation. So uh, pi, so 3.14 divided by 2, for example. So um, and then we can display I3, and that's a rotation of uh, 90 degrees. Um, we can also uh, translate the image. So uh, let's say I wanted to create I4. Uh, so here I'm supposing that I want to keep all this information, all these images I don't have to have. So I can translate the image I, and uh, then I need to say how many pixels I want to translate it. So 50 over 50, you know, and then I can display again. And this translated basically the image down south. Uh, by 50 pixels. Um, I can also crop the image. So I'm going to crop it uh, on top of the same variables, so same input. And I want to crop crop it from uh, x and y 50 50 to 100, 100. Uh, and then I want to display that. Uh, and that's basically just this little patch here. Uh, that might not be very significant, so let's do. 300 to 300, um, 
and display that and that's that's a, just a bigger patch cropped so there's all this kind of a nice information uh, that you can get from um, using this There's also some um, nice packages for, for displaying and